That major arrest happened in Toronto. Police announced a suspect is now being charged with one count of first-degree murder, six counts of attempted murder over the deadly weekend shooting at the iconic Eaton Centre. CBC's John Lancaster is outside the shopping centre tonight with all the day's developments on this. John? Diana, the city's landmark shopping centre reopened today. The city's mayor urging tourists and Torontonians not to be afraid. This is definitely, like I said before, uh, the safest city in the world. I encourage people to come to the city. But on Saturday, it didn't seem so safe. People got shot. People got shot. People got shot. Shots rang out in the Eaton Centre's crowded food court. A 24-year-old man died. Six others were injured, including a 13-year-old boy. Early today, the suspect turned himself in. One person is under arrest and will be charged with one count of first-degree murder and six counts of attempted murder from the shootings at the Toronto Eaton Centre. 23-year-old Chris Husbands is already facing a slew of other charges. He was supposed to be under house arrest. Police say two of the victims were targeted. Ahmed Hassan died from his injuries. I was devastated because I knew him all along. And also we have, um, uh, we have um, related and um, relatives. Uh, yeah, he come from a very good background. But that background included numerous charges for drugs, robberies, and forcible confinement in Alberta. In 2010, Hassan was approached by the Fifth Estate, who tried to ask him about an unsolved murder. He wouldn't comment. Last year, he fled Alberta for Toronto. Seemingly, the violence followed him. Let us not forget the toll that this has taken on so many innocent people who were present that day, minding their own business. One of those innocent bystanders remains in hospital. A 13-year-old, a court-ordered publication ban prevents us from identifying him, but today his family issued this statement. After complicated neurosurgery, we are happy to say he's doing well, all things considered. He is alert and talking. And an entire city is talking too. So I remember seeing the, the smoke and the fire from the actual bullets, you know, like from the gun. I, I remember seeing, and I felt like I was in a movie. Locked. Some of those who fled the shooting scene returned today to collect their belongings left behind in the chaos. Police say the gunmen and the two intended targets all knew each other and were all gang members. CBC News has learned that they believe this was the suspect's third attempt to kill them. Diana. Thanks, John. John Lancaster in Toronto.